Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And today let's talk uh, truck axes. Um, for years, I mean decades, I carried this S-Twing. Um, it's a good, solid, simple design. It's a uh, USA made solid steel handle. Uh, extension down here, rubber cover, um, with a very narrow profile as far as this this head, which I'll get to in a moment. Anyway, I kept it razor sharp, uh, more as an emergency than actually for good functional cutting. A lot of times if I knew where I was going, this was my preference. This is a Swedish Forest Axe from Grand Force Brooks. Nice, solid um, handle. This is, I mean, it's just beautiful. It's just artisan, razor sharp. Um, but what do I carry in my truck now, especially since we are entering forest fire season and wildfire season, um, I just found this too limited. It was a good, interesting kind of hatchet or, or ax, but not the best. So what do I carry now? I carry this. Um, in a homemade case, if you can believe it, looks like one. Um, but what I, I prefer to have with me now is this still professional forestry axe is what they call this thing. It is a monster. It has got a, a way overbuilt handle within a steel collar for overstrikes. It uses a special material um, inside here that grabs, um, it's kind of a steel uh, collar or, or steel plunger that goes down into the wood handle and then it's screwed in tight and then it, the whole thing um, is pressed on. I mean, it is just a, a beast. Look at the size of the neck of this thing. Whoops. If you compare those two, I mean, just look at the, the beefiness compared to a standard ax. And these are darn close to the same size. You know, still is a touch longer, but this is just massive. It has sort of a combination splitting and cutting uh, head. Um, some the the splitting heads generally get wider faster for splitting material, but they're harder to cut things down. This is just so beefy, so monstrous. Look at the size of that swell at the bottom. That just that grabbing point. Um, it is one major uh, impressive cutting tool that really um, is, you know, if you if you need an emergency, whether you're busting into a, you know, an overturned school bus or cutting down trees or setting up a fire perimeter or something like that, this particular thing is definitely um, a cut above the rest. And it's overbuilt nature you know, ensures that even if you misuse it, it's probably going to last longer. It's going to put up a bigger fight. Make sure you get a quality grain structure. The grain of the wood on the handle should be in this direction. It should not be in sideways or angled directions. Um, that's a cheap, cheap uh, axe. So you can see this one here, it's almost perfectly straight as you would expect from about a $160 hatchet or ax. This one here, if you look, um, is a little bit at an angle, but not too much. Um, you can see this kind of coming down here. There's a bit of a twist, but not bad. Um, and you can see the lines coming straight down right into the side. Um, so it's an excellent handle. If you have a choice, choose a good one. Um, this is a German manufacturer here um, that makes these for still um, and this particular company, uh, I don't even know how to say it. Um, I'm gonna, I won't even try just because I'll mispronounce it. But basically they've been producing axes and hatchets for a very long time and you can still get them um, directly from the company. But this particular um, still is coming straight from Germany. So it's got the kind of the classic German profile. But anyway, this is the one right now I carry in my truck because we are entering a season in which there is a reasonable chance I'm gonna end up out in the field fighting a fire. That's just what happens around here. So with that, I thought I'd bring that to your attention and dock out.